No. No. <laughs> How's your gator? Mine's not great. I'm not. Con I'm not convinced that it exists at all. Six lesbians versus one straight girl. And no, this is not a, a fight to the death. It's not a battle. We're just trying to figure out who in a group of six lesbians and a straight girl is the straight girl. Who's the imposter? I don't fuck if I know, honestly, because my gaydar is shit. I'm not sure it exists as a concept, but if it does, I certainly don't have it. So let's put that to the test in this video by Jubilee. I want some honesty from you though. Write a comment post it, confirming whether or not you think you have a good gaydar. And then once you've finished the video, I want you to reply to that comment and tell me whether or not you got this right. <laughs> I need to see something for science. And disclaimer, obviously, of course you can guess if people are gay or straight, but really no one knows. The way you dress doesn't dictate it. The way you act doesn't dictate it. Blah, 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 all of that stuff. <laughs> Trying to be sensitive about the topic while also doing it in the most lazy way possible. Welcome to the low budget shit show. That's where you currently are if you want to wear. And a big thing Thank you to all of my upper tier patrons, my most worthy patrons who keep this channel going. This sure as shit won't get monetized, so I appreciate your support. The only reason I can make YouTube videos, that is... That's it. <laughs> like, that's, that's just the truth. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, go to patreon.com slash Worth. There's actually a ton of perks over there. For example, if you join the Inner Circle tier, you get the low budget shit show carabiner. I also added new shirts. If you join that tier, you get one of these, whichever one you want. You also get bonus content. There's a whole thirst traps lesbian not this again. Lesbian Thirst Traps reaction video on my Patreon, only for patrons. There's another one going up soon, so if that sounds like you, patreon.com slash Worth. You also get discounts to my clothing brand Rift Supply Co. I am so fucking hungover. We're not too hungover not to tell you that we have, does that make sense? We have hyper-specific Gay Awakening t-shirts now available on riftsupplyco.com. This one was made about my own personal experience. That scene in Transformers Revenge of the Fall and when Megan Fox was leaning over a motorbike was my Gay Awakening. Because it was, and how could it not be? There's also one about Drew Barrymore in Charlie's Angels Full Throttle. There's one about Kira Knightley in Pirates of the Caribbean because come on. Actually, that may have been my Gay Awakening. Who the fuck's to say? And obviously there's one for the ice bath scene in Stick It. You're welcome. I've also made a hat that says what, and I cannot stress this enough, the fuck. Just for any day-to-day -day moods that come up. And another cap for those of us who are a little bit emotionally unavailable. So go to riftsupplyco.com to check out the new drop and you can get up to 20% off if you're a patron. Depending on what tier you choose, the, the higher the tier, the higher the discount. I'm gonna go die in bed now. Enjoy the video. So let's get into the lesbians. Well, the alleged lesbians, at least, because there's one little sneaky bastard in here. I'm a lesbian. 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 Okay, that's a lot. I don't know who to be suspicious of now. One of them is secretly straight. Is it gonna be like, oh, I bet they're gonna just make like a real non-obvious. Whoever this straight girl is, it's gonna really seem like a lesbian. I went to an old girl's school for five years, so I feel like that's pretty <laughs> self-explanatory. A likely story. Uh, hi, I'm Gianna. Um, I feel like my appearance is an upset, to be honest. You would think. Hi, my name is Elisa. My girlfriend was the first time I ever stood up to myself. <laughs> Sorry, but that, that is adorable. Oh, Elisa. Elisa. Wow. Hi, my name is Iris, and I uh, eat what I have. <laughs> How do you eat? Okay. All right, Iris. Took me a second, to, yeah, but we got there. Uh, my name's Maya. There's no way Maya is not gay. But what if she isn't? And I go to Berkeley, and I'm a film and media student. You can't be like, okay, she's going, she goes to Berkeley. Even I know that the gay as hell. She's wearing that shirt. Pretty sure it's illegal to own if you're not a gay woman. Film student, wearing a hat. What do I need to say more? Claire, I've been Claire. in a relationship with the most beautiful woman, my girlfriend, for two and a half years, especially yesterday. Okay, she was too excited about that. There was too much love in that. She is telling the truth. <laughs> and my name's Mara. <laughs> yes, queen. And my name's Mara, and I've been married since January 31st. <laughs> <laughs> it's, this, it's the very quiet celebration for me. I voted her out just because she was the straightest looking. Maya is so obviously fucking gay. It's not even funny. And that makes me sus of her. The second we walked in, I looked at everybody's out. Blue hair. Fit, and I feel like everyone just kind of had like a more eccentric vibe to their outfit, whereas Mara Ooh. was just wearing shorts and a t-shirt. Uh, Mara, Mora? I... 
believe Mora. She just had a lot of dates. She had a specific date. She was married. It seems too specific for her to be lying. Gianna, I'm not 100% sure on. I'm sus of Gianna, I'm sus of Maya just because Maya is so obviously gay. Y'all, it is not me though, for real. <laughs> she just talks a little bit too much and it feels like she's overcompensating. Doesn't make you straight though. She does seem the most straight, but I don't think she is. I'm letting y'all know right now, it is not me. Y'all will see my girl outside. <laughs> it's letting y'all know. It's probably- Okay, that that is sus as hell, but <laughs> <laughs> I see why they voted her out, but I don't think it's her. It's probably the hair, it's probably the lashes, the makeup. Look. Okay, the nails are not helping though. Let's be real. You would never guess. No, you would never guess, and that it does explain why she's overcompensating. The nails would just threw me the hell off. Was everybody's childhood crush or like gay awakening? Have you guys seen Lizzie McGuire? Or are you yeah. too young for that? Yeah. Miranda. Oh, obviously. Miranda was a gay icon. <laughs> this wasn't planned, but once again, the gay awakening t-shirts. The hyper-specific gay awakening t-shirts. <laughs> Riftsupplyco.com. I don't remember my childhood one, but like sixth grade, it was RuPaul's Drag Race, Adore Delano. That was my, her and drag, I don't know. I don't know about Maya. It's too obvious, like it is painfully obvious. And that is a very gay answer, but like the Lizzie McGuire one, niche. No straight person would look at that and be like, okay, yeah, like that's a gay character or queer coded or whatever. No one would do that. But RuPaul is, it's just like an obviously gay show. Like, I don't know. I wasn't exposed too much as a kid, but Rooney Mara from Carol, if you guys have seen that movie. Elisa could be a dark horse. I, don't, I just don't know. She does strike me as like a, a cute little queer person, but like, I don't know, don't know. Ah, oh my God. Honestly, my first one's not like a movie character, like a TV show. Sus of Gianna too. TV show character, it's a bank teller that I went to go see with my dad, and I think he was using me as his wingman. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm less sus of Gianna now because that is extremely specific. Clearly a pivotal moment in, <laughs> in her awakening. There was this girl in my like fourth grade class. Mars is so cool. I really hope she's gay, and if she's not, that's will be shocking. I wanna say, one time she was standing in front of me at the teacher's desk and I just got like super close to her. She used to bully me in that grade, by the way. Yeah. And I stood like super close to her and I was like, oh my God. But I was in Catholic school at the time, so I was like, oh no. <laughs> and then stopped thinking about so it bad. for like three years. A classic, the classic progression. Mars is gay. She's very tall as well. Mars is really cool. <laughs> Oh my god, what? I have a question. What would you guys say, like, top, bottom, like, switch, femme, mass? Like, what would, what do you identify within, like, the lesbian realm? Um, verse, switch, um, uh, I'm definitely femme. I would say not, I, I go hyper femme when I go out. I love makeup and dressing up and costumes in that yeah. way. I think I kind of, my wife and I both are a little bit of both. I am the oldest in the group, so I felt like maybe that would set me behind because I don't know all the lingo and the... TikTok language. Yeah. I believe her. <laughs> I think that would be uh, a bottom. Sorry if it's so. Uh, I'm not really? used to saying these things a lot. Really? <laughs> Despite that. Really spot on with her branding. I don't They seem like a bottom. I don't know how else to say that. Diverse, and I feel like my appearance definitely leans more feminine, um, but in relationships, I'm typically the more masked person. Okay. Less sus of Gianna, less. See, my problem is I just, I take what they're saying at face value. I'm like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> they all do, they seem confident in their answers. So I'm like, mm. I'm like, why would you lie? Even though one of them is clearly here specifically to lie. How was everybody's family and friends when you guys came out? Like, was it difficult? Was it? I think I can take this one. Yeah. Uh, I did it at dinner over, I believe, Christmas break. Uh, the first thing I- Oh, bold. A response, because I grew up in an Asian, household that was like pretty traditional, conservative. Yeah. And my mom, first thing she said was that, uh, like something about like conversion therapy, stuff like go out of it and I would need to find a husband um, eventually. And still to this day, she calls my uh, girlfriend of five years. Oh, why am I getting too emotional? No, oh, okay. oh, darling. A five, um, more than five years still, my friend, oh, which kind of hurts, but. That's hard. That's really hard. I believe her. Okay, I'm not sus of her anymore. Sus of Maya, sus of Gianna, but then Gianna, oh God, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I told you I was not good at this. 
reserve your judgment. I, my parents were very supportive. I grew up in a liberal Chicago city based place. Um, they gave my dad gave me a pin and my mom said, yeah, of course you never like boys. Yeah. Oh, right. I, I came out with a girl. I believe her. I believe all of them. Cool, uncle's gay. Great. Nice. My principal outed me to my mom. My mom was not happy about it. I got grounded for like a year. Oh, I love this speed running of, of your trauma. <laughs> this is just. I, I came out with a girlfriend when I was 15. Parents were cool. Uncle's gay. Came out with a girlfriend. I believe all of it. And my girlfriend's parents, who were like strict Catholic Mexican parents, grounded her in full trauma. Oh. oh my god, that is so heavy. Though there's a lot of trauma in this past minute. My mom knew I was gay. She asked me, my sister's gay. And so yeah, it's just always kind of been apparent. Okay, this is why I'm south of Gianna because she, okay, if her sister's gay, same with Maya, if her uncle's gay, they know the terminology, they know the ins and outs of it, they have proximity to the culture so they can quite easily talk about it, you know, in a way that it seems natural to them. It seems like they've experienced it. Not necessarily personally. I'm still still sus of the same too. Who are they gonna vote off though? Gianna. She basically was just like, yeah, I just came out because my sister's gay. Even though she looked definitely the part mm -hmm. and I really believed her confidence, I just thought, okay, I think other people are also gonna vote for her. Okay, Claire. <laughs> Okay. Interesting. If they get voted off, does that mean they got it right and the whole thing ends? Because if it's not Gianna, I'm concerned. I knew I shouldn't have brought up the fact that my sister was gay. Oh. But I figured my appearance kind of gave it all away. It did make me sus, I'll be honest. Please raise your hand if you want to continue playing the game. Not 100% sure how this game works. So they vote people off. Don't get told if they voted the lesbian off, the straight girl off but they get to choose to keep playing. So it could be Gianna. Oh, fuck. I don't know. I want to ask like, what's the gayest thing you've done to impress a woman? Because for me, I made matching silk chiffon heart-shaped <sighs> pillows for my girlfriend and I, because we both loved Muna's silk chiffon song. Oh my God. I love lesbians. I love them. I was in a relationship, like sort of long distance, and I would drive like twice a week to San Luis Obispo, just like playing music outside of their house on Valentine's day, because they broke up with me like the day before. Girl, <laughs> drove up to slow to play music outside of the ex's house because they broke up with them the day before. Problematic, very gay. So I'm a bit more sold that she's not a fake lesbian, AKA a straight girl. I've, ha I've had a long distance partner in Sweden for over five years. She would. So we're limited in what we can do for gestures. What I did do was buy her a limited edition TCG mount on World of Warcraft. I know that sounds super nerdy, but oh, it's- that's cool. Yeah, that sounds like exactly what I would have pegged to this, this person. Five year long distance relationship between America and Sweden is a big one. I think I spent over $2,000 on it for, uh, supposedly it was gonna be for eventually a marriage gift later down the line, but I wanted to buy it before it became increasingly in price, but I couldn't keep a secret, so I just ended up giving it really early. She is precious, first of all. There's a lot of, I need, I would love more context on the long distance five year relationship where you're buying $2,000 presents for marriage, but don't live, you know what? It's a very lesbian thing to do, so I believe her. I worked in editing on a video game series, you know, Life is Strange before the storm. Yes. So I- She would. Yeah, she would know it. <laughs> so I got autographed from every single one of the people and gave it to my now wife. Aww. It was like the geekiest thing, but yeah, she's a gamer. That's really thoughtful. Um, I think the gayest thing I've done is my best friend came over, best friend at the time, came over and confessed that she was in love with me. And so then we like cried because I didn't feel the same. And it was just like a really intense conversation. And then I made her dinner afterwards because I felt bad that she was crying and then we sat and watched a movie before she had it home and like cried. You're not really Ooh. talking about you being a lesbian, you're just kind of saying like, yeah, my friend had a crush on me and I... Good point. Good point, Maya, the potentially straight girl. See, even saying saying that Maya is a straight girl doesn't, it just doesn't feel right. I don't know, and Mars is being really quiet. She is, she's being very quiet and flying under the radar because I haven't really like raised an eyebrow at her yet. She's really not drawing attention to herself. But yeah, is the gayest thing you've ever done said you don't have feelings for a woman. That's curious. A question, are you guys bothered by any particular celebrity queer baiting? I would just go with the one a lot of people think about, like Billie Eilish. What? With the whole like, I wish you were gay kind of thing. Like she definitely was one of my celebrity crushes. I went to Coachella 2019. I was like, I'm meeting her like somehow, but I think- Wait, isn't Billie Eilish like not straight? Unless I have read that, it was so wrong. Uh, I didn't know that. 
And I'm not sure about that. I would say Ariana Grande. I can't remember the song, something like break up with your boyfriend because I'm her. bored or something. At the end, she ends up hooking up with the girl. Yeah. But like, oh. there was no reason for it. Like, she's never said that, I don't know. As a queer person, I love representation. Like, I get, it doesn't have to happen every time, but. Fair enough. One of the reasons I didn't come out to later is because the gay actors that I loved, like, they weren't gay in real life. But I was like, oh, it's an interesting character choice. Yeah. So yeah. I do think it's so important. And for yeah. them to be able to, like, explore and, like, without labeling themselves, yeah. to be able yeah. to explore it. Mm -hmm. But when it feels fake, like, for, for monetary, hundred percent. We're, 100%. Trendy we're gonna turn on it. Okay, these two, I love their dynamic. <laughs> Having a little DNM about representation, and they're loving it, and they've got great points. It also shits me to tears when, especially like TV shows, movies have the token lesbian character or couple, but you know, the, the one ends up with a boy, or one of them dies, or it's they're just killed off in in service of another plot line that is like about a straight person. It's very tired and it's just not it. It's just not it. Or when it's like they've just put a queer character in a series or a movie or something just to say they've got one in there. Like it doesn't actually serve any purpose. It's not really for representation. It's just, but we did it. Here's one, but the minor role and let's not talk about it. Do you know which person out of this group you guys have the highest doubt in so we can have that person yes. speak more? That way we could group up our votes. Great idea, babe. Such that if someone says that they think it's a certain person, people are more likely to vote that person out because they don't want to be voted out themselves. So they're going to choose the one that they think will be voted. Very pragmatic approach to this. Can I ask about how you met your wife? Yes, so she's friends with two of my coworkers um, at this, I review content for a children's programming network. And so we all had this, it's actually funny, it's a Christian Ooh. network, but every single person I work with is gay. Um, and so we had this big oh. LGBTQ Christian party. Yes. Which is pretty unheard of. Okay. And I met her there. She's 47. She is a lot older than me. That was harder to stomach for my parents than me being right. gay. Huh. I kind of have a little bit. I wish I could give you some kind of explain yourself, but I won't vote you out because I don't. Just because I have doubt. I don't think. I think Red Shirt is telling the truth. Why those two? Oh Mars. At the end of the day, I thought everyone but Mars seemed more lesbian to me because Mars was just like too pretty. Mm. Mm. I hate that and immediately I think Maya is the, the straight girl now. That's not a comment, okay. Maya's the straight girl and I know that it's probably not very likely that she is because fucking, come on. No actual lesbian would say someone is too pretty to be a lesbian because that is something you've heard over and over and over and over again forever <laughs> usually from straight men but also just from everyone generally no one would then pass that on because you know how fucking annoying it is maya is the fake lesbian i can't believe i'm saying that and i don't even really believe it as i'm saying it maya is the that she's the straight girl but she is that's not it and also not okay let's not can we not say that <laughs> I'm feeling very, very humbled. I haven't had someone question my sexuality since I was probably 12. Obviously time was against me and the clock ran out so I wasn't able to answer. And so I left everyone with like a final impression of, oh, we're sus of Mars, mm -hmm. which is valid. Yeah, and you know what? Miss Pragmatism may have done that on purpose to like cast doubt knowing she couldn't answer. You never know. <laughs> Future rounds, every time you vote out the wrong person, the prize money will be cut in half. What is your like favorite thing and least favorite thing about being a lesbian like today? I would say my favorite thing is the amount of acceptance in the community is, is lovely. Um, my least favorite thing is hearing the stories that my wife has gone through because she's 47. Yeah. So she obviously faced a lot more prejudice. I would say that's my sorry, <laughs> least favorite thing. Okay, okay, when you say obviously red shirt is a lesbian, we can all agree on that. The community that involves, but also decentralizing men from your life and how that's improved my relationships with other women. Absolutely. Um, also just being in love with a woman, I feel like it's like, an, not, to, not to favor, but it's like a more evolved sense and there's such beauty in being outside and specifically so outside yeah. the patriarchy. And then uh, something I don't like, I still think there's issues within the community, within, um, you know, judgments and inclusion that I really hope that we, you know, strive forward. Yeah, she's definitely, she's definitely not the straight girl. <laughs> she's definitely not. There is absolutely no way, shape or form. Which leaves it down to Maya and, not Iris, um, Maya and the other one, who don't seem straight. They're such dark horses. Oh my God, if it's Maya, I'm going, we've been hoodwinked. Look at this woman. There's, <laughs> there's no way. Sort of just like the opposite of what is like, normal like i feel like that that is so 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 awesome and yeah and i think my least favorite thing is probably like 
just like I love how passionate Claire is. Can I just say that really quick? Out in public spaces, there not being enough spaces like bars and this and that. It's just like you can't be yourself, that's and it's fun. like you really don't fit in, and it's just. You know, I, that's what I really, really hate about it. I think she is telling the truth there, but I don't think she's saying it as a lesbian. Oh, if she's straight, I'm gonna lose it. Because lesbians don't care if they fit in with straight people. Like, no one's sitting there being like, oh, I don't fit in. Well, you know, maybe actually that's probably a generalization. I'm fucking on to you, Maya. There are some people, and in particular, there's some in the lesbian community who have said that I can't call myself a lesbian because I have been in a relationship with a woman who happens to be trans. Oh yeah, that's cooked. And um, the last time I told my coworker about that, uh, they said I, w I couldn't possibly classify myself as a lesbian if I was willing to be with someone before surgery or, or, or and really digged into my um, sexual history too. They seem to have really drawn a hard, a hard stick. <laughs> I meant to say a hard something or a short stick. And you know what? It, we let's move on. I've, they've, I'm feeling sympathy. I actually came here today was because I wanted to let trans people know that you're not an abomination. You're not a monster. Uh, you are fully capable of being loved. Claire is so lovely. If you are a woman dating a trans woman, you are in a lesbian relationship. Don't let anyone invalidate trans people. There's no way World of Warcraft is straight. Unless she is like the biggest ally on planet Earth, then she might be. Oh, it's fucking one he is. If anyone has any doubts about me, I'd love to clear it up. I am at this point the most like str I'm sure you would, Claire. She's just like a little ray of sunshine. <laughs> she's too passionate about everything she's said to be faking it. Gain of them all. I feel like two have cried. There's no way Maya's like not <laughs> a lesbian. That's what you'd think. The one that keeps, World of Warcraft is, can't, she's cried too many times. It's fucking Maya. I can't believe it's fucking Maya. Me, would you ever want to get married someday? Yeah. Listen, I'm working towards it. I, I or is it Claire? I do feel it's a little archaic. I do feel it's a little patriarchal. Yeah, I but agree. I do think it's evolving. And I... Is Claire just like super in, in amongst the community, knows all the terminology, is just really passionate about like social justice or something? Like, is she the straight girl? It would be too obvious. I think weddings I think it can awesome. be done the right way. I think for us, like she kind of like hadn't been with any women before me. Yeah. Um, and she's sort of just like the lipstick lesbian type. So um, okay. we don't want to just like conform and just like be just like a piece of paper. But Maya feels like she's speaking from experience there. And she might be. Maybe that did happen, but she's not gay. It is a four-way tie. <laughs> A four-way tie? I, I don't know who voted me, but what are you thinking? I've been the person with the, the guard most down. There's there's so much detail in my stories. I feel like maybe we should have stopped because now all four of us are kind of turning our heads saying maybe the mole's out already. Yeah, it's, it's the Spider-Man meme. Your argument for why you should not be voted out. Liars typically are have their guard up, but I've been very vulnerable about my lived experience and what I had to go through, so. Yes. Great, um, I grew up playing soccer. I'm a golden gay, never had sex with a man. Um, serial dater, only dated women. And yeah, look at me. Okay, that's changed my mind a little bit. Fuck. <laughs> oh, she's listing stereotypes. Okay, it, no, I'm back. I'm back in the it's fucking Maya train because she's just listing stereotypes. And to be fair, for most of this video, she has just been listing stereotypes and relying on like how she presents and the one time she did seem to like actually speak from emotion, it was about not fitting in under the eyes of like straight men. She's, it's fucking Maya. You little sneak. I'm gonna take it to the camera and just tell my girlfriend, Allie, I love you so much. You're the light of my life. I'm I believe you, Claire. Let's, it's fine. Right, <laughs> but um, I love being lesbian. Please like be inclusive. If you're someone who's judgmental, stop it, knock it off. I believe it. I think my emotions with my love of my wife and the hardships that she has gone through in her life. It's fucking Maya and I can't believe it's fucking Maya. Cause oh, okay, all the, again, all these people speaking from experience, Maya speaking about stereotypes, playing soccer, how she dresses, how she's perceived. Oh, it's fucking Maya. One of the things she said that stood out to me was she said, just look at me. Thank you. Okay, okay. It fucking is. How could you vote me? I am literally the blueprint. There's no way a straight girl can put on this sheep's- That's the problem, babe. 
<laughs> being gay it has is so much more than like what you look like, what you're into, what things you did as a kid, blah, blah, blah. Everyone else has so, so much emotion and so many experiences tied up with it. I'm just not fucking sold. I'm glad I'm not the only one who like saw this because if I'm wrong, I'm gonna just feel like the biggest asshole being sus of this woman. Please raise your hand if you want to continue playing the game. Stop playing because it's my own. If the lights turn green, that means you have voted out the mole and you win. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box. Oh, shut up and just fucking change the lights. And you lose. What? No. <laughs> no. It's, it's, it's not me. It's, it's, it's not me. What? When I count down to one. I am thrown all the way off. I have no idea who it is. We'll step forward and reveal themselves. Three, two. Who the fuck? No, I'm just, I don't know. I don't know. One. Oh, I knew it. it. I literally knew it. No. No. <laughs> I was gagged. One of my really, really close friends. I'm gagged, Maya, and I apologize. I just thought it was way too fucking obvious. Maura? What about your wife? What about your old wife? <laughs> she did say she works at a Christian place, but she said, that, oh my God, this bitch. One of my really, really close friends is a lesbian, so. She cried. I was talking to her a lot. She was asking her friends who are also lesbian and we were texting and chatting and I was getting all the scoops and all the lingo and verbiage that I had no idea existed. I do work in children's content review, but I'm also an actor and an acting coach. So I pulled out some I of those water bars. She fucking, oh my God. Snaps for that bitch. Damn. Someone hire her. That was convincing. And she said she didn't know any of the fucking terminology. I didn't suspect her for a second, I don't think. I did not suspect her at all. I'm going to have a sit and a big quiet think about all of this. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Did you, did you fucking guess? It was Mara, but that was completely depleted once Alyssa like had loyalty for her. But it was truly so devastating and hard because I felt like we bonded. I, okay, I, if I was clear, I'd be pissed because it, it did seem like the those two were really like. Now I'm super sus of more. Am I you an actor or are you a sociopath? <laughs> Damn. I, I am gagged. I am befooled. We have all been hoodwinked. I can't believe that. You're so nice. I'm so sorry. I feel so happy that I won. I hope I didn't offend anybody during this process. I loved everybody that I met here. Um, and I feel bad for lying, but not that bad. She's too obvious. But then again, okay. I was like, it's Maya because Maya is too obvious. But like she, you just looked at her looks exactly like just like a normal ev everyday garden variety straight girl which is why i thought it wasn't her and the crying the backstory lesbians come in literally all different shapes sizes colors styles sexual preferences yeah as a lesbian and as a bush lesbian i wanted to make it very clear that we also have like a little girl within ourselves and we're vulnerable. Yeah, and I'm sorry for saying that you were straight and lying and all of that. That's my bad. I cannot believe that. Um, but it does feel right that Maya's not straight because it didn't feel right saying it. What a crazy, a crazy, crazy game. <laughs> I'm seriously just gonna have a sit and a think after that because fucking hell. Insane. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any other videos that you want me to react to, leave them below. Also, finish your comment and let me know if you got it right. Thank you once again to all of my patrons, my upper tier patrons, but all of, just all of my patrons. You literally keep the lights on, keep this channel going. You keep me and my terrible gaydar going every day. <laughs> you keep me questioning obvious lesbians because I'm sus of everyone on this show. God, now I'm just sus of actors. That's, that's it. That is insane. Anyway, take care. Hope you have a great week and I'll see you in the next one.